The district says right now it is looking at three possible routes for the academic year. One involves a full return to the classroom. Another consists of going only remote. And the third is a hybrid model. We would assign them in two groups, either A group or B group. A group would meet on Monday and Thursday and the B group would meet on Tuesday and Friday. Wednesday will be the day where kids will have more remote activities. When it comes to health screenings, school officials are asking parents to be the first line of defense. We as a district will provide a checklist that's backed by medical consultants, consultants that we have on the, on the project. We're working on uh, thermometers will be available to families in need. Staff and students will also be screened before entering the building each day. Schools will not use their cafeterias to the max. Breakfast and lunch will be grab and go. We expect to, uh, we hope and expect to deliver, continue to have food that can go out into the community, whether it's pickup or delivery, we are awaiting waivers. And as for transportation, the district's 77 seated passenger buses will only carry 26. Youngsters will be assigned seats. They will be permanent. We do allow siblings to sit together. That question has come up. Um, but we are expecting that masks be worn on the bus. And now this proposal is not set in stone. It will be presented to the school board on Monday, August 3rd, before final decision is made. Reporting live, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.